Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're looking at another small ship gone wild, and this one sure is a beauty. Now this is the Sea Patria, done by Magica on the Steam Workshop, and it's an absolutely beautiful little creation. It's small, and it's got one sort of priority in mind, and I quite like the idea of this. It is the idea of a modded small ship for survival. It's got the basic needs that someone could start out with and expand and explore from the beginning of their survival. So we'll start at the cockpit, we'll have a look at the outside and we'll go into the inside as well. So the cockpit's got a very beautiful, very wide sort of view from both sides and you've got the central sort of divide that seems quite popular on a lot of these small ships gone wild that then thrust up to the top where you've got the first of the rotating Gatling gun turrets as well as a lovely little antenna to add a bit of detail to the side as well as a secondary one there. And you've also got the curve underneath here. That, that reminds me of other similar sort of ships like the Serenity, another popular movie cult hits. Now if we move down the side you can see that we've added quite a little bit of detail here with the thrusters. It's also added some external sort of blocks and panels to add to the curves and the shape leading into the number one and as we enter the first of the two engine bay cells you can see how he's thinned out and he's twisted not well not twisted but using the angled and ramp blocks to add this really beautiful sort of vented effect that leads into the rear of the engine bay. Now on this side we have an outside first aid module that could be extremely useful if you're passing by as well as some of the information on that panel that displays the ammo and different sort of requirements of the ship. I guess it could display sort of medical information as well. Now if we come around the back, you'll notice the engines are beautifully detailed inside. We've got a curved sort of engine bay with the thrusters in the center with some reinforced sort of armor as well as a sort of netting gate at the back to stop any debris from getting in there and destroying the engine cells. Now in the center, we've got like a venting sort of system and we've got batteries in there. So I guess these batteries could possibly give off a lot of heat and they need to vent out the back. Now moving on to this other engine base cell, you can see that we've got exactly the same, but towards the front, we actually have something that's a little bit different. We've actually got one of the large sniper rifle sort of cannons, as well as a camera, so you can aim it quite accurately. Now if we come to the top of the ship, you can see some of the processes and the, the sort of modules to speed up the processing that are all connected up to help you do so. We've got some smaller oxygen generation farms at the top as well to help produce oxygen for the ship, and here we have a drop-off point for supplies. So it's really cool and really useful and they've compacted it down into that beautiful little package. Now if we go underneath, this is where the entrance is, but I want to show you these landing gear sort of design. Now originally I thought these were rotational, but they've added them to make them look like they've got sort of shock absorbers. So when you hit the deck, they absorb some of the impacts, but they don't really do that, but they're still very cool. Now we're heading to the entrance underneath and these little panels here access that. So this is the back ramp. Now this ramp is pretty cool because it doubles for two things. It doubles as both a loading sort of passenger ramp for this and now if I raise the ramp with this button well actually that's the light button we need to find the ramp button I think it's one of these there we go so we can raise that back up and it works as a middle sort of corridor for the ship now I've seen this in ships as before but it's nice to see it in this one and this leads to the rear cargo bay where the toilet is on the left and you've got a secondary storage area in the other sort of nacelle so these are pushing out into the engine cells that is a pretty good use of space and you can see the armor's also been reinforced in areas and we've got like a high voltage terminal here with some information on the reactors the battery stored the output just it's just beautiful you the use of scripts to display consoles around is a great idea so we're going to open up this door and head here we've got a nice welcome aboard sign and we've got a thanks to emma master for his awesome scripts they're the ones that usually process the thing oh we've depressurized it we've got to be careful by doing that so this small ship has actually been pressurized so if we close that door up the pressure has gone back up maybe the airlock system needs to be a bit more diverse in this area itself because you, maybe you need two doors to see, seal and seal out otherwise you don't have that problem all the time but moving into here we've got some storage on a shelf we've got a secondary med bay right next to the cockpit so if you're injured while you're flying it you can get out to the back and you've got some more processing for the ore summary we've got nickel and we've got a second sort of ore summary on that side now if we move over here, it looks like we've got component summary. So if you're producing components aboard the ship, so you're building a station outside, you could quickly reference this point here before you land and see what you need. I guess this is some sort of sync magnetic dock here. And we've got a panic button. Let's see what that does. Oh, okay, so a panic button signals that sort of system. Can we do that? Desk object lock. Okay, that didn't do anything. Lamp over desk. Okay, that's that. So that's the lock item on the desk. And then we've got cockpit protection. 
I guess that fire... Oh, that's the cockpit protection. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty damn cool. Now we need to work out a way of turning off this bloody alarm. Okay, that, that's not working. I'll have to go into the sound block. Where the goddamn sound block? So we've just disabled the actual alarm now, going through the menu. We didn't have a look in the cockpit, but I've just missed this little area here. We've got a no oxygen sign, so I guess that's warning me that there's no oxygen out there. Central stuff counting unit. And we've also got a please do not open and close the door. How'd you get out then? Some weird shit might happen. Do it own risks. What's this button here? Main storage lights. Okay, that's cool as well. So you can see all the piping going up through the ceiling. Let's get into the cockpit. Have a look at this cool part. What's that button? Main storage lights. We've got a lot of light buttons in here. So you can turn it off from a different area. So we've got the different tabs in this forward section. I, I love this cockpit because it limits you from actually getting into the front. By You can duck down and now you've got this beautiful view of the surrounding area. So we've got a missile ammo count at the side. We've got the tabs actually explained there. So signals, ramps, different areas. We've got a speed indicator at the bottom right as well as refinery count. So we can do everything from the cockpit while still being able to see pretty damn clear. So let's take this thing off and actually see what happens. So we're gonna disengage our rear landing gears, disengage our front, and we're gonna bring it into a hover and we'll see how this thing actually handles. So we're gonna take it into a slight tilt and we're moving it around. It's, it seems to be handling pretty well actually. I was giving it a little bit of a test run before and it seems to be rather smooth. So as you can see, the thrusters are pushing out the back and it's just a simple but rather effective ship. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'd like to go and check this out on the workshop if you get the time. And I will see you 